What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again. Nice to see you. And today we shall discuss what are the symptoms of a weak, terrible, afflicted, downtrodden Mercury. <laughs> well, some of you have been telling me that why don't I make videos on how to improve the situations of the planets? Do not worry. That's directly next. I have made videos on uh, Sun. Terrible Sun, Terrible Moon, Terrible Jupiter, Terrible Saturn, <laughs> Terrible Mercury is today, then Terrible Venus is remaining, alright. After that we will make videos on how to improve the planets. But before that, you have to first know where is the problem, right? If you do not know what to work on, then how will you know what to work? <laughs> so first you diagnose the problem, then you go for the remedies, alright. And if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you are interested in a consultation from me, then please approach me in my link below somewhere here. <laughs> in my website, Vedic Renaissance. <clears throat> and I'm very happy from the responses which everybody has given me after the consultations. They have felt very positive, very nice. It feels great that you help so many people and people get benefited. What else is required in this Kali Guha that you are helping people? That's such a big factor for me. And perhaps that's the only satisfaction which I have in this planet. <laughs> and before we begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you overcome the effects of a debilitated, terrible, drowned to death, miserable, unhappy Mercury. <laughs> all right, so let's start. First of all, what Mercury is? Mercury represents everything actually. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mercury represents our finances, our ability to hoard assets, hoard wealth, our friends, our relatives, our speech, our ability to understand another person, our ability to understand that people can be different from us. They need not necessarily be like us. Mercury will tell you how much can you disagree with a person or how much you cannot disagree or how much can you agree to disagree. Mercury says, okay, you think this way, I think this way. That's it. No problem. It's okay. We can disagree at times. And then Mercury represents your intelligence, your ability to grasp knowledge. All right. I have made a video on difference between Mercury and Jupiter. If you have not watched it, then please go and watch it. It is in this playlist itself. Now, and also Mercury represents relatives, friends, deals, negotiations, all these things, okay, contracts, documents. And now Mercury is going retrograde, I guess. No, it is going retrograde. Yeah. So what are the symptoms of a uh, terrible downtrodden Mercury? Now, Mercury rules two signs, as we know. It rules the sign of Gemini and it rules the sign of Virgo and it gets exalted in 0 to 15 degrees of Virgo. And it is in Multricon from 15 to 20 degrees of Virgo and then the remaining 20 to 30 degrees of Virgo and the entire zodiac sign of Gemini, it is in its own sign. Now, what is the number one symptom of a bad Mercury? <laughs> Any guesses? You love to gossip. That is the first symptom of a terrible, downtrodden, miserable Mercury. As in Hindi, they say, na, iske bina iska din nahi jata. That means you cannot spend a day without gossip. Yes. You love talking about scandals, about who is having an affair with whom. Or you are interested in people. Uh, for no reason. <laughs> you are interested in people for no reason. Suppose somebody has got a promotion in your company. Alright. Then you are skeptical unnecessarily. Okay, how did the person get promotion? Okay, maybe he has some connection with this person. Maybe like that. Maybe it's like this. Maybe it's like that. Come on man, do your work. <laughs> but no, you will not do that. You will go on asking 10 people. Okay, maybe no. Okay, maybe he has some connection here, there. He doesn't have the talent actually. Oh, maybe he's having a uh, some relative in that company. Maybe by that he has given reference. By that he has got this job. All right. Number two is you always 
run into people who are gossiping about others these are the same actually because birds of the same feather flock together right <laughs> so if you gossip about others then you will also run into people who gossip about you or who are gossiping about others what is another symptom another symptom is you will always hear that people are gossiping about you <laughs> suddenly some uh, scandal will pop up from nowhere and you will be like oh my god from where did this come i never did this but there will be lies which will be spreading about you yes because you spread lies about others may not be always but sometimes <laughs> all right what is another symptom of a terrible afflicted miserable down to dead mercury another symptom is you always make blunders whenever it comes to finances should i repeat you are very bad at taking financial decisions why i am saying that because in the natural zodiac belt the third house is the sign of gemini where ketu gets debilitated all right that means you when mercury is not very well placed in your chart then you make you behave like ketu when it comes to money ketu is what ketu is headless another symptom is you get cheated in financial matters cheated you 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 very easily get carried out by some schemes or some um, new propaganda which is uh, flooding in the market i am not saying that new propaganda cannot be there but i am saying if your mercury is not very well placed then you may find that all the time the things where you were investing in they are not giving you results they are in fact they are taking you down financially they are causing you more harm more misery more pain more suffering more sorrow than giving you monetary elevation that's not happening the opposite is happening that's because your mercury is not well placed probably <laughs> what is another symptom you always run into company of bad friends who are either drinking or smoking or gossiping about others or they are trying to uh, tell you that just enjoy just have fun just be merry eat drink sleep enjoy have sex just merry there's no need to talk of god there's no need to talk of spirituality everything is just the way it seems like just do it oh another symptom is you get into addictions yes mercury <laughs> because why addictions will only come when you meet friends meet people you will meet friends who will tell you it's okay to drink man you should try everything in life rules restrictions are not good you should be like a free bird you should do whatever you want life is all about freedom these kind of statements if there are people around you who are giving you then uh, probably your mercury is suffering <laughs> what is another symptom probably that your mercury is not very well placed another symptom is your relatives always trouble you oh my god this is big especially in india it may happen with pe many people relatives may not be very happy seeing your success what is another big symptom that your mercury is afflicted or debilitated or in a terrible house how <laughs> in a terrible sign <laughs> you are always 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 jealous and envious of others always this is like your default pattern i have to take a pause here 1 2 3 4 5 <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours you are just rejoicing if somebody is unhappy okay somebody got a promotion damn how did this person get i know he doesn't know anything he doesn't even know how to write a code of 10 lines how did this person get a promotion oh this person got promotion as a senior journalist can't give a presentation look at the way he stands there you see <laughs> your mercury is miserable all right you have to do remedies for that what is another symptom that your mercury is not very well placed 
another symptom is you always run into problems because of your speech you don't know whom to speak when and how much and how much not to as in hindi they say baat karne ki tamiz nahi this is not arrogance or this is not saying oh you are blasting on others no that is more of that ego uh, level i'm not talking of ego here but sometimes you speak things oh my god you should never speak those <laughs> let me give you an example <coughs> another another symptom is you are you have perfected the art of criticizing others should i repeat you have perfected the art of criticizing others should i repeat again you have perfected in finding faults with others you have perfected that art no faults can skip from your mind you have become so much damaged the only thing you see that is false <laughs> and <clears throat> you speak things to people after which people come and tell you oh no 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 they will not tell you they will go and tell your friend or maybe somebody else because they have, they have to gossip about you right they will go and tell oh my god this person told me like this <clears throat> like a uh, long time back there was one boy who had contacted me and he said that one girl in his friend circle told him oh your face is so many uh, what, what you call that uh, this pimples <laughs> how how will you get married if your face has so many pimples ha <laughs> so these are examples of people all right now just by having pimples you don't get married that's the equation uh, according to that girl so if you reverse the law that means if uh, people don't have pimples in their face they should have perfect marriages right but i don't see that to be true neither neither will anybody say that that is true right so these are the ways by which you talk all right other examples like there was one friend of mine who was a bit overweight and then he reduced some weight some 20 kilos or so big reduction actually reducing 20 kilos is a big thing it's not big if you are having 200 kilo weight but he was not having so much weight he was his weight was somewhere around 79 or something he brought it to 60 or something in 19 20 kilos he reduced so then uh, he met one girl she said oh you look so great now <laughs> now uh, yes he looks great now but do you need to tell that he looks great now why do you need to say like that so this boy he my friend he told me oh she told me like this you look so great now yes he may be looking good now but that doesn't mean you have to denigrate the self esteem of the person by telling him like this that you never looked good before yes if you are doing this your venus will suffer terribly and these are the same people who will be running after astrologers oh my god my marriage is not working please tell me now how can i make my marriage work suggest me remedies <laughs> don't go to astrologers and waste time your marriage is not going to work because you have destroyed your venus if you comment badly on somebody's looks you are destroying your venus i am giving you blind statement people who comment or criticize others looks their marriages or their relationships suffer i am telling you directly go and blindly check it oh my god this video was about mercury but these people are also your friends all right what is another symptom that your mercury is not very well placed you always run into politics <laughs> politics okay how to pull him down because see why mercury represents the child yes and child has two traits child is either very happy very free flowing very much enthusiastic very hopeful have you seen a child they very much always dancing bubbling with enthusiasm very nice to see a child very happy always smiling or the child can be on the other side always complaining always not jealous mercury the problem with mercury is there's this tendency of being jealous about which i already spoke earlier so these are the traits and what is another last symptom you always make blunders with documents deals contracts you do not read the 
contract properly and then you sign at the end that doesn't mean you have to read a document which is 10 pages long that you can't do maybe it's good if you do <laughs> but at least you should be properly aware but when market is not well placed you are least interested in reading what is another symptom <laughs> this is a funny symptom actually another symptom is when mercury is not well placed when you are typing a mail you will send the mail without writing the subject <laughs> i've seen this with people who have a difficult mercury they will send mails without mentioning the subject and then i'm wondering what this mail is at all about and then i'm like okay maybe the mail is about this or maybe the mail is about that all right so these are the symptoms you will run in trouble because of your speech you don't know where to speak whom to speak what to speak how much to speak how much not to speak and one last symptom is you are the most insensitive person and another symptom is nobody likes to be with you <laughs> whenever they see you they're like oh my god just go away from this person and i don't want to stay with this person because mercury represents connection so when mercury is afflicted you have a difficulty in communicating with people in trying to understand them or you will think that okay i said this but why did this person think like that why did that person say this to me so all these communication problems come all right and you will another symptom is you will spend too much on unnecessary gadgets now i'm not saying don't buy an iphone or don't buy a macbook i'm not saying that i'm saying unnecessary gadgets big but it's like saying okay you have three mobile phones what's the need of three mobile phones now you may say okay i need it uh, well that is up to you to decide you need it or not maybe you need it i'm not saying you don't need it but if it is just for the sake of having a device then your marker is not well placed what is another symptom then marker is not well placed you are addicted to social media should i repeat you are addicted to social media you cannot stop checking facebook all the time you are uploading 24 hours photos on instagram selfies changing dps doing this doing that oh my god now somebody will blast me are you telling don't change dps how can you say that no i'm not saying that <laughs> but i hope those who are intelligent they have understood what i'm trying to say right there you go symptoms of a terrible afflicted miserable downtrodden mercury and the question is how to improve your mercury right and yes regarding finances i already told that the question is how to improve your mercury we will make separate videos on that but let's understand mercury is signified by lord vishnu lord vishnu is the deity which signifies mercury buddha all right so that means when we worship lord vishnu or his avatars mercury will naturally improve lord ram or lord krishna when we chant their mantras when we go and worship them when we read the bhagavad gita scriptures like the bhagavad gita then mercury will naturally improve that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then let me know in the comment section and if you are interested in having a consultation with me then please approach me in vedic renaissance website below and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and click the thumbs up and share it with others who have a terrible afflicted downtrodden, and miserable mercury not in their horoscope their horoscope may have a exalted mercury i don't care but if these symptoms are manifesting well then your mercury is in trouble even if it is with jupiter or venus or saturn rahu ketu moon it doesn't matter the best way to understand how a planet is to check it realistically in your own life how that planet is performing okay that is it from my side next video will be on <laughs> terrible afflicted venus so stay tuned till then all right and until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you tata -ta.